Former Mayor Mike Bloomberg became the latest New Yorker to demand action from Washington on the asylum seeker crisis. CBS2 political reporter Marsha Kramer says this plea comes as Mayor Adams defends his decision to order painful new budget cuts if President Biden and Congress don't come through. Former Mayor Michael Bloomberg not only stood next to Mayor Adams at the 9-11 ceremony, he joined him in calling out President Biden and members of Congress for not fixing the migrant crisis. The Biden administration has failed to address the steep price many cities are paying for a system they didn't create and borders the cities don't control. The former mayor complained in an opinion piece in the New York Times, adding, the White House ought to recognize the political damage the crisis will do to Democrats up and down the ticket in 2024 if it doesn't take swift and decisive action. Bloomberg has largely opted to stay out of city politics since leaving office, but apparently the crisis has become so overwhelming that he felt he had to step in. He also sided with Mayor Adams and Governor Hochul in demanding work authorization for the more than 110,000 migrants who have arrived here. To deny immigrants the opportunity to work and force them to rely on public handouts is as anti-American as anything I can think of. It is harmful not only to the refugees, but to our country especially at a time when so many businesses are facing labor shortages. Meanwhile, Mayor Adams was defending his decision to ask city agencies to prepare painful budget cuts of up to 15 percent if the state and federal governments don't pony up more money to house, clothe, and feed the asylum seekers. The economic impact of this on New Yorkers is going to be devastating. And I must be honest with New Yorkers. I can't sugarcoat this. I can't try to be politically correct. I need to know, let New Yorkers know um, what we are facing. And it's the very services New Yorkers depend on, police, fire, sanitation, and schools that will be on the chopping block. I'm Marcia Kramer, CBS 2 News. The mayor has also said he would have to start moving women and children into barracks-like mega shelters, a move called simply unacceptable by former council speaker Christine Quinn, who heads the city's largest provider of housing and supportive services for women and children.